Is your faith alive or dead? James 2.17 says that faith, if not accompanied by good works, is dead. Another translation says faith, if it doesn't cause you to do something, is dead and useless. This verse is powerful and inspiring, but it's also convicting. It's so important, though, that we as Christ followers understand and apply this verse, so let me explain. In this verse, James addresses a commonly believed lie in our culture today that the extent of the Christian faith is simply to say a prayer that we believe in Jesus, and then we can go back to living the same way we used to. However, James is sharing a truth with us that is so crucial to understand. He's explaining that yes, we are saved only by faith. We're not saved by good works. We can't earn our way to heaven. It's only through the finished work of Jesus that we are saved. But he's telling us that's not the extent of the faith that God wants us to have. The faith that God wants us to have that truly saves should change us. It should transform us from the inside out. The Bible says that when we come to Jesus, we are a new creation in Christ. That means we should live new, not the way we used to. It means obeying Jesus' commands to take up our cross daily, deny ourselves, and follow him, to share the gospel to the ends of the earth, and to love others as God has loved us. I love how Adrian Rogers puts it. He says, A man is saved by faith alone, but the faith that saves is never alone. The faith that saves us should transform us from the inside out and should cause us to go do actions because we love God and we truly believe that his way is best. We believe that he has an amazing life in store for us, an amazing future for us, if we commit to him. And receiving all that God has for us requires that we do more than simply saying a prayer to believe in Jesus. It means that we should show our faith by our actions, by what we do. True faith is backed by actions. True faith does. Our faith should inspire our entire lives, and we should follow Jesus' perfect example. We're called to do that, and he showed his faith by what he did. He loved and served others, and he even went to the cross for us out of faith that God had good plans in store for him and for us. So does your faith cause you to do something? Let me ask you once again, is your faith dead or alive? If you would answer that your faith is dead, then confess that to God in prayer today. Don't worry, he will not condemn you. He loves you and forgives you. Commit to him and cultivate a daily intentional relationship with him. Start pursuing him every day. Develop habits of reading the Bible every day and praying on the daily. Learn and obey Jesus' commands and commit to follow him and to take up your cross daily to share the gospel and to love God and love others as he has loved you. And stepping into the God-given purpose that you have. Go to church, join a life group, let God's word shape your perspective and your decisions and your lifestyle. Ask God to show you what he wants you to do today, and then go step into it boldly. So let's show our faith by what we do. Let's show it by our actions this week, because that is the type of faith that God wants us to have, the type of faith that will lead to a transformed life and help us change the world and reach heaven. This is how we are called to live as Christ followers. So let's show our faith by what we do. Have a blessed day and share this video with someone so that more people can learn the truth and have an alive faith that will change the world. View the video link in the comments below. It's a great worship song that I think really well explains this idea of living out our faith every day by what we do. Have a wonderful day.